Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you what I've been working on. Um, I released Search It All 2.1. It's a major upgrade. I updated the UI. I, I added new features, and I fixed uh, some bugs in it. Um, so today's video, I'm going to go over the new update and show you what it is. And let's get started. So now I'm going to show you how to get Search It All installed on your Google Chrome um, or any Chromium uh, browser, I believe. Uh, so you go to the Chrome uh, web store.google.com. Now when you're on here, you can search for the extension. So search it all. And now you see right here. Um, you can uh, say that it's made by BibroTechWorld.com. So if you see BibroTechWorld.com, it should be the right extension. Um, now we'll go over here to add to Chrome, click it. You, you can set the remissions and add, add extension. Now it has been added over here, so you can pan it. Um, so you can see that it's working and you can switch to different search engines. So now I'm going to go over the context menu feature that I added. Um, I'm going to just go to a web page. I'm going to just go to bigbirdtechworld.com. And now you can highlight any word you want, right click and search with right here. And you can just say DuckDuckGo. And now it searched DuckDuckGo uh, for Bieber Tech World, the one that I highlighted. Um, so if we go back and we want to actually preserve the page that we're on and open up a new tab in the search engine, um, we can go over to the search it all and go to options. Now we're in the options page, so you can scroll down to open results in new tab, check mark it. Then we're going to close this out, and then we're going to try to search again. And there you go. So now it preserved the page that we were on, and it opened a new tab. So that's how the context menu feature works. So now some people get confused uh, with search at all and they're just on a regular page and they think that they can go up here and click it and then see all the search engines. That's not how it works. So how it works is you got to be on a search engine that's actually in the search at all database. And now you can see that you can go to the actual search engines right here and it opens up. So if we go back to the regular page, you can see it don't work. Um, but if we go back to Dago Go, it does work. So that's how that works. So what if we're on this search engine, but we want to actually search it on uh, Google? Um, we can go up to the search it all. And now you can come down here and click it. And it'll open up into uh, a Google with the same actual search query. So everything's the same. Um, so we can go ahead and close it out we can go back in the extension right here and now you can see these numbers right here so we can actually just hit two on the keyboard and go to google that way without even having to use your mouse except just to get to this extension right here um you can also filter the search engines so if you wanted to just do that and you just click that and it's good um you can also go to the settings right here and we're on the search at all settings page. So this page right here has been completely revamped and with a new UI. So that's how that all works. So now what if we actually just open up a new tab and just go to Google? Now there's no search query happening. We go up to here. It still works. You can still look at it. Um, so if we want to just uh, go to a different search engine, we can click it. Now it's going to ask you what it wants to search for. So you can just say Big Bear Tech World and now search. So now it fu uh, fully works with just being on a regular search page. So now in search at all, we have two different themes, light mode and dark mode so we can go up to the cog right here click it now scroll down and you can enable dark mode right here you can click it and now it's in dark mode 
Um, so you can go back to search engine, then you can go to the extension, and you can see that the extension uh, uh, fully is in dark mode. Um, so from the settings page to the extension page. So that's dark mode. So there you have it, Search It All 2.1. So I hope you enjoy it and like the new features. Um, let me know in the comments or on Big Bear Community Forums on what you want to see next in Search It All. Um, so stay tuned for more. And also subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And see you next time.